In order to start, please say Namaskar to take the three refuges and the five precepts. The Sadhana and Panchasila, say Namaskar. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arato Sama Sampratassa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arato Sama Sampratassa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arato Sama Sampratassa Uddham Saranam Gachami Uddham Saranam Gachami Uddham Saranam Gachami Sangham <laughs> Gacha <laughs> Tatiyampi <laughs> Adinadana now, children, we are going to talk about meditation and later on we are going to practice meditation. Today we are going to think about the importance of meditation. Just as you have to spend some time on cleaning your body every day, brushing your teeth, taking a shower, putting on your clothes, you should also treat your mind and clean your mind at least once a day. Maybe twice a day, in the morning and in the evening and take some time to develop your mind. How do we develop the mind? We can develop the mind in two different ways. One is to make our mind calm and quiet, to learn to concentrate on one object, or to develop a good quality, such as loving-kindness, universal kindness to all beings, we call metta. And, on the other hand, we can develop our minds to pay attention, to become aware, to know what is happening in your body and mind. And that we do by focusing our minds on something that has to do immediately with your own body. And that is basically to observe the breathing. From the moment you were born till the moment you die, you are breathing in and out, but most of the time you are not aware of it. So, in the meditation, Anapanasati, we try to become aware of our breathing and the breathing in and out. Not as a concept, but actually to feel yourself breathing. 
And where can you feel your breath? That is inside the nostrils of your nose. That is where the air is actually striking the, the touch of the body. And that is where the skin is being struck, stricken by the breath. The breath, which is moving in and out of your body through the nose, makes a very, very subtle sensation there. Sometimes too subtle to feel it. But when you take one or two or three deep breaths, you can actually feel it. Try it out. Take a deep breath in and breathe out deeply. You see? Once again. Now you can actually feel the air inside your nostrils. And again, in and out. Where does it touch? Exactly that point, you make it a point to focus on. To keep your mind on that particular place, that particular sensation, that becomes the most and most important thing for this moment in your life. That is the anapana, the breathing in and breathing out. This breathing is so important let us pay full attention to the breath. When you breathe in, you think, I am breathing in. When you breathe out, I am breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. When I am breathing in, I am aware of my breath. When I am breathing out, a smile appears on my face. When I am breathing in, I am aware of breathing in. When I am breathing out, a smile appears on my face and in my heart. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in. smile on your face and in your heart. Once again, and then slowly, slowly open your eyes. Now you see, quite a difference, isn't it, between the normal chattering mind and when you concentrate on your breathing. Do you notice that your mind is becoming calm and quiet? That we call samatha, tranquility. That is the meditation on the breathing which makes your mind calm and quiet. It is part of samatha bhavana, tranquility meditation. And another form of tranquility meditation is that we develop metta. First of all, we want to clean our mind from greed and anger and fear and hatred and jealousy. So all the negativities we are going to clean up by wishing from our heart, may I be free from anger and fear. You can repeat that in your own mind. After I say it, you repeat it in your mind. May I be free from anger and fear. May I be free from greed, hatred and delusion. May I be free from conflict and suffering.
May I be well, peaceful, and happy. May I be well and happy. And then wish it to other beings. May all beings, near and far, be free from conflict and suffering. May all beings, human, animal, the visible and invisible, be well, peaceful, and happy. May all beings, in all directions, above, below, in front of me, behind me, to my right, to my left, in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west, and all around in all directions, near and far, may all beings be well peaceful and happy. May all beings be well and happy. Sambhi Sattva Bhavantu Sukhi Tattva Feel this loving kindness beaming from your mind to all beings in all directions. And see the smile on their face when they receive your love. And you will be happy sharing that love. Smiling on the outside on your mouth and face. and smiling on the inside, in your heart and mind. And then, slowly, slowly, before you open your eyes, feel your body sitting here, from top to toe. and become aware of your surroundings, the environment. Become aware of the sounds around you and the silence around you and within you. And while relaxing your body and mind, Slowly, slowly, open your eyes. And children, if you can develop this mindfulness, mindfulness of breathing and the development of loving kindness, you will see how much nicer your life becomes, how much friendlier people become to you, how much friendlier you become to people, how much better you can concentrate on your work, 
of your studies, how much better you will interact with your friends, with your parents, with your teachers, and how much more beautiful life becomes. So I wish you all the blessings of the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. May all beings be well and happy. Sambhe Sattva Bhavantu Sukhidatta.